Hey guys, welcome. Uh, I'm Damp here. I'm here to just do a quick uh, tutorial on how to set up a dedicated server for Outpost Zero. Came out on Steam recently. It's a pretty cool little game. Uh, so first of all, let's open up our browser. So they have a website, outpostzerogame.com, and if you go to the uh, Steam page. And <clears throat> excuse me, scroll down, go to view discussions. In here, uh, you want to go to the README topic by Ender. And in here, you have a read, and then there's a link to a Google Doc that they put together. It's, uh, it's an FAQ, frequently asked questions. And uh, it's got a lot of useful information in it. But what we want right now for setting up the server is a couple of things first of all there's a discord invite link go to the discord um i read somewhere recently that apparently you might not need a beta key don't quote me on that it's just something i saw written somewhere uh as far as i know you need a beta key to download and install the dedicated files so i would go there and uh, ask the developers there just to be sure uh, so click that, go to their Discord, jump in the server host channel, I think it's called. Yeah. And just ask them. They did it pretty quick for me when I asked the other day. It took them like maybe a minute, if that, to respond and give me a key. So really quick. All right, so go there, grab that. And if you scroll down just a little bit further, you'll see the dedicated server setup overview. It's got a lot of useful information. There's uh, another one, another guide here by Nemesis. Um, it's a pretty good description on how to do things, it's very, very detailed. Um, I'm not familiar with some of this other stuff, so I'm just going to do it the simple way and show you guys how to get it up and running real quick. So, first thing you need is that beta key. We're going to run on the assumption that you need that. Then you're going to need Steam CMD, obviously. Download and install that. And... Once that's installed, keep this um, FAQ handy because you're going to need that again. And so if we go over to our server, that's great. So our server's just, just re uh, restarted. Okay, so once you've got Steam CMD, you can run that. I'm not going to download and install it because I've already got it, but in here, you would put, uh, where did I put it? Da -da 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 Docs, I believe. Uh, actually, no, it's on the other computer. Never mind, it's right here. Okay, so once you get the beta key, you need to apply it to a Steam account. Um, I read somewhere, someone said that uh, you shouldn't put it on the same Steam account that you want to play from. However, I did that and it works fine. So I'm not sure what the negative there is, but if you have done that like I did, it still works. Don't worry about it. Okay, so then you want to use this information here. So um, you want to type login. Back on the server, in Steam CMD, you want to type login space and then you want to use the steam username and the password for the account where you applied the beta key uh, to apply that beta key by the way it's the same as activating any product on steam open up your steam window and up the top left it's going to have uh, games activate product on steam click that put the code in that they give you boom done there you go once you've logged in on uh, steam cmd uh, like I said, I'm not actually going to do it because I've already done it. But once you've done it, um, then you use this data here, which we got from the FAQ. FAQ. Okay, so you're going to need to forward your ports, both UDP 27015, Steam Query port. Without that, it won't show up in any server browser lists. UDP 7777 
to 7778. That's for the game client. Um, for those ports, I'm not going to do a guide on the, how to do that. There's a gazillion guides on how to forward ports out there already. And then right here is where we uh, got the other information that we're about to put in. You can uh, copy and paste this. So copy and then go into your server. And for anyone uh, interested, I'm obviously running the old Windows 7 on our server box at the moment. You can't control V in the uh, command prompt window. So what you can do is if you've copied some text, you can actually click here and then go edit paste okay for, for anyone interested just a little tip there and I'm actually gonna quit back out of that so once you've done that the first time I did that uh, it actually popped up with an error right at the end of the download I just ran the same code again the app data whatever the number is uh, validate sorry <laughs> let's not get false information app underscore update 762880 validate and there are spaces here just so you are aware uh, so if, it, if yours errors at the end of the download like mine did then just paste that and run it again um, it should work mine worked the second time I'm not sure why it did the first time it actually happened to me twice because I ran it on my main machine it did that error ran it a second time worked fine then it did the same thing on the server box so I'm not sure what's up with that. Uh, developers, if you see this, might want to uh, have a look into that. Maybe it's on Steam's end. It probably is on Steam's end. But anyway, you run that, download and install it. Once that's done, uh, then we want to go uh, in where you installed your Steam CMD. It's a, it's a very similar setup to your normal Steam folder um, where you play games from. So you got like Appcache and all this. You got Steam apps, Common. And that's where all your servers will be that you uh, download through Steam CMD. So we're going to Outpost 0, Windows Server. And in here, you've got a run server.bat. Uh, this Outpost 0 server.bat, that, that won't be there. I made that. So basically, what you want to do is uh, right click and copy. Da -da. I'm not going to because I've already got it. But you do that and then rename it. Uh, let's see, I'm just going to open both of these up. So this is the run server.bat, okay, and here is the outpost zero server.bat. I just copied it, and then uh, what you need to take note of is at the bottom here of the run server bat, it says start run server.bat. That's this file, okay. So if you do like I do, and you make a copy of the file, uh, you need to make sure you change the name of this line down here to whatever you have named your bat file. Okay, and this is the file that's going to actually run your server. Okay, so that's done, out of the way. Uh, we'll get to this in just a sec. I'll reopen those. Do, 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 do. Okay, so back in the folder. <clears throat> so you've got, you got that, you run, you set up your bat file. Great, okay, you can run it now if you like. Uh, the, you can set up some settings though, and I highly recommend that. So what you wanna do is make a shortcut for your bat file. Again, click and hold your right mouse, drag it over to your desktop. Create shortcut. I'm not going to because I've already got one. Back in the folder here, you go survival game. <coughs> Excuse me. And don't go into the config folder and use the default any files because um, I did notice there's a couple of people that said to do that uh, on Discord and Steam, I think. Uh, you shouldn't really do that. The reason being, um, when there's a game update and you update your server, there's a very, very good chance that these will actually be, able to be overwritten and you'll lose your settings. Okay, but what we can do is go into defaultgame.ini. I highly recommend using something like Notepad++ or Atom. Uh, both very good text editor programs, get all the spacings correct, etc. Anyway, you want to scroll down to server settings and copy everything in server settings, including the title. So we're going to go control C to copy. Then we're going to come back in here, survival game. And instead of going into those default files to edit, we're going to go into saved, then into config, and then Windows Server. Uh, you may need to run the server once to generate these files. I can't remember. Sometimes that's a thing. I honestly can't remember if this is one of those ones that needed it. 
Uh, if you go into survival game uh, and there's no saved folder, which pretty sure there was, then run the server first. If there's nothing in here, then yeah, you know, same deal. Um, it's always good practice. Like if someone's saying, "Oh, you go into this folder and there's these files and they're not there," usually means you need to run the server once to generate those files. Anyway, moving on. Now we're in this folder. You see, there's all these files here, which were very similar looking to the files in that other config folder, uh, but without the word default at the start of each file. So we're going to go into game.ini. And you'll see I've already got mine here. But you're just basically going to paste and then delete the semicolons and then put your details in. So whatever server name you want, number of players, uh, 32 seems to be the norm. I don't know if that's a hard cap or not. Um, that's a good thing to go to the Discord or on the Steam discussion pages and ask the developers about. I'm not sure what the actual cap is. Anyway, the Steam ID area is where you put your Steam 64 ID and this will make you admin on the server. So if you've got multiple admins, you can actually just... Uh, just copy paste that line. Make sure it's on separate lines. I'm pretty sure it needs to be on separate lines. I could be wrong. Who knows? Uh, and just put your Steam 64 IDs after the equal signs uh, for every admin that you want, basically. And that's it. You're done. Okay, so close all of that. We made our shortcut. And then you just run your bat file. Bada beep, bada boo. You get two pop ups. First one you can just minimize. That's fine. Things run a bit slow on this box. Whatever. And just give it a minute or so and it'll load up. Um, you may see one or two little errors pop up. There's a common one I get to do with the name of our server. I've got uh, AU in square brackets followed by black talons and it actually pops up and says it's like a not a hard error it doesn't crash the server but it says it's an error in the loading text here somewhere it's probably going to make me a liar now but uh yeah that's it guys easy as that don't forget to port forward you may need to uh port forward in your windows firewall you can look again there's thousands of videos out there how to do that um, and as for port forwarding with your specific router you're going to have to look that up too because there's many 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 different types of routers out there so I haven't used that many different types of routers before I usually stick to uh, one or two particular brands that seem to work better than others so yeah that's it guys just sort of waiting, 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 waiting. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. So here's that error I was talking about. It's not really an error. It's a warning. It's a Steam warning saying server settings, server name, AU Black Talons, overflows, Steam set game tags, call. I have no idea what that's about, but it still works. So, bleh. I guess until someone says, hey, you shouldn't do that because of this, I'm just going to keep doing it because it, it works. I've, I've played on it. I know it works. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Any questions, pop them down in the comments section. I'll leave some links to uh, various web pages that I uh, showed in this video. And, by the way, if you like the music that's been playing throughout the video, check out my SoundCloud. I'll put another link for that in the description, too. I make all my own music. Um, and it's free to download on SoundCloud, so check it out. Thanks for coming. I'll see you all next time.